I haven't done it yet. I've neglected it. All right, it's assembled. All right, I think I got it ready. Um, got my scrubby brush. All right, let's gear up and go on a ride. It is Saturday the 10th, I think, about 7.30 in the morning. Uh, soccer team, we went and watched it last night. It's a draw, so we got a point, which is good. So we're in ninth, one spot out of playoffs. But next week we play like the worst team in the league. And then I think a week or two after that, we play a team uh, that's announced they're dissolving and not going to be a team any longer. So. Uh, good chance we're going to beat both of them. Looks like the... <laughs> Looks like it was windy out here again. I really should... These plastic chairs really don't work very well. But no one really sits out here anyway. Especially this hot part of the year. I mean, that's a good spot. Maybe like in the night, you just relax in. Watching the sunset. But it's still 100 degrees at like 8 o'clock at night here. So... Maybe this fall I'll get something better. Or at least maybe weight the legs of them somehow. So today we are going to um, clean and re-oil my motorcycle chain. I haven't done it yet. I've neglected it. It's probably about a thousand miles over since it should have been done. Um, and I'm learning that motorcycles require a lot of uh, extra uh, maintenance compared to cars. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the plan now is to finish my coffee and then roll the bike out uh, to the curb and uh, get this thing started. So follow along if you want to see how I, how I do this. All right, so there's a dog walking around with its owner and all the other dogs are barking at it saying good morning. So if you hear a lot of that, that's what's going on. Um, first thing I need to do is put this motorcycle stand together. Uh, still in a box. Pro tip, if you don't have um, scissors or a box cutter with you, you can just use a, a drill bit. And it uh, does a decent job of cutting <laughs> the, the tape on here. Okay, so this is what uh, it looks like. Uh, this brand, Bevor, 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 um, they actually make the, the pizza oven I'm looking at. I went to their website and they make pretty much everything from like uh, safety rails and things for forklifts to um, deep fryers and grills and industrial products, aluminum tables, all, all kind of stuff. So even make like distillery equipment um, so I could maybe make my own whiskey one day. <laughs> I blow up my house. But yeah, we'll put this together and this will basically, uh, if it works well, uh, it'll be either a go or a no-go for ordering the uh, pizza oven eventually. But we'll see. So we'll have a review of this and then also uh, we'll do the bike chain uh, cleaning. All right, here's all the uh, pieces. You got the three bars and then just all the wheels and screws and everything. I'm not going to use uh, this version where it sits on the little, um, can't think of the word, the little spools uh, on the back. I'm going to use these where it sits on the frame rail. All right, it's assembled. And now we're going to roll the bike out and do the, uh, the chain maintenance. 
First, I want to shout out a couple videos that I watched to do this because I'm, once again, not an expert. Don't try this at home. Uh, Canyon Chasers had a good video and so did uh, uh, Moto Jitsu. Um, he has actually quite a few and his techniques have changed uh, over the years on how to do it. Um, so I'm going to follow more of the Canyon Chasers where they took their time and uh, covered up everything with cardboard so you don't get all the degreasers and oil on the on the wheels and the sprockets and everything that don't need it. So let's get this done before it gets too hot and maybe we'll go on a ride today. That sounds like fun. All right, so I went with the uh, Motul uh, chain cleaner. It's the one pretty much everybody recommended. All right, I think I got it ready. Um, got my scrubby brush and cleaners and stuff. Sadie's gonna be barking probably. Also some branded uh, <laughs> rubber gloves, which is probably smart. And they sent me a sticker, which is always cool. So uh, let's go ahead and spray the degreaser and start scrubbing it. in the video to do the side and then push up and push down. Alright. Now we just have to get some water and spray it off. Always make sure you got on your uh, maintenance, your maintenance flip flops. All right, we're gonna hose it down and then grease it up, and we should be done. Should be a short video.
some glass is falling down. I forgot I gotta wait for it to dry now. So let's give it a few minutes. I'm gonna take that time to wipe off the rim. It got all wet, probably got some degreaser and stuff on it. So we'll do that while we wait. dries the chain a little faster. Maybe. Just wake up all my neighbors at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. Sorry. Alright. So I took this opportunity to go ahead and top off the coolant a little bit. Uh, I know it's been a little low. Hasn't given me any issues though, but it's now uh, right between min and max when the bike is level, which is cool. I end up using this. Xerox. Uh, uh, I know there was another one uh, that they recommended. It is a totally different color. I know you're not supposed to mix them. And that one on some of the forums said that's what everybody uses. That's what a lot of people use. So that's what I'll continue to use. Uh, when I need to do a full flush, I have enough. Uh, yep, yeah, washed off the bike a little bit, cleaned it up some. Get a chance to get a little more uh, intimate with the bike, make sure everything's tight. Nothing's gonna fall off. And we'll go ahead and uh, lube up this chain. That's that. I'm sweating already. I already like 85 out. Great. Thanks, Sadie. It's our neighborhood guard dog. Bucks and everything. But hey, uh, yep. You want to make sure you grease it from the inside. Uh, lubricate it from the inside so that as it spins, it pushes it to the outside. Uh, and they recommend you go on a ride afterwards to make sure that all the grease gets everywhere. So we will uh, go ahead and do that now. Oh, hey, shout out to uh, Motol. They have this long one, and then in the lid, they have a second one, which is really convenient, uh, depending on if you wanna be up close or if you have to stand behind the bike, and move the tire or what, so. All right, let's gear up and go on a ride. All right. How's everybody doing? I'm gonna try and do a uh, little two cameras for a minute. I got this one right here. I don't know how it's gonna do once I start the bike. It's probably uh, gonna vibrate like crazy and then overheat and turn off. <laughs> but we'll see what we can do. Finish greasing the chain, lubing the chain. Just drive around for a few minutes. I'm gonna get back and watch the rest of the Titans football game. But uh, Let's go. Let's see, I think it pops. There we go. getting too hot it's just gonna turn off <laughs> yeah but hey I don't want to
to spend another, you know, whatever, a bunch of money on another GoPro. stays on. Let me mess with it here. Alright, we'll find out if it stays on or not. Fake 46. Let's go, Brandon. I think this guy uh, is a Trump dude. I imagine he is.
You guys know why they changed it from uh, See or Miss to Starry? In the videos I've been putting out, I, uh, you know, take a lot of time to make them, but it's really fun.